Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Today we're going to talk about computer programming, pre and post transmission repair. Uh, there was a time when a shop would take in a job, do the work, take it on a road check, and if it uh, did what it's supposed to, they delivered the vehicle. Uh, decades ago, computers became uh, prevalent in vehicles and shops were able to contend with it. Today, the computers literally drive everything. And so you go through the same routine, you bring in the job, diagnose it, do the repair, you go to start it, and the engine won't even start. Or if it does, it doesn't engage correctly, or it doesn't shift correctly going down a road. Because the computer has to be reprogrammed. And whether you consider it a shift, dap, relearn, uh, a reflash, there are certain things that have to be done just so that the vehicle can operate correctly even though the work that you did was done right. Um, for a while, the only options to get the computer in sync was to uh, get online with an OEM, uh, subscribe for a day or two, pay whatever the growing rate was, and then do downloads um, over the internet from the OE site. Um, not necessarily desirable. Another option was to contact a mobile reprogramming service. A person that would come to the shop uh, where he already subscribed for all the OEMs and then he would do it in a shop again for a specific dollar amount. And worse yet, call the con uh, contact the local towing company and have the vehicle hauled over to a dealer and pay the dealer to do that. Well, there is now a much better option and it's called the wrap. Not hip hop wrap, but remote assisted programming. Um, a company called Drew Technologies uh, developed this in conjunction with Transstar Industries uh, to make it easy for a shop to do programming as needed in the shop uh, without having to go through the other routines. Uh, Drew Tech was on the ground floor of OBD2, working with OE manufacturers and SAE many years ago. Um, so they are well aware of the needs of the aftermarket. When the wrap was released, uh, it accommodated a specific amount of manufacturers, such as GM, Ford, uh, Chrysler, Toyota, and others. Uh, over the last couple of years, other applications have been added, and uh, you would need to check to see what the current applications are. This box is not my luggage. This is actually the wrap unit. And when you open it up, they'll have uh, instructions here on the lid and what it entails is a uh, uh, CPU drive. This is an extension cord to plug into an AC outlet. This is the cable to plug into the OBD2 connector and also on the side you have two terminals that are covered by uh, plastic caps for battery connections because this has a built-in battery maintainer because it takes uh, sometimes a fair amount of time to program a vehicle. You don't want the battery going dead while you're programming because it can cause damage. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. You would contact Transstar they would send out the unit. When you uh, are ready to do a programming, 
you would contact Drew Technologies to set up a time to be able to uh, do the programming and they will take it away. They will contact you at that given time. Um, all you have to have is a vehicle ready and beyond that, Drew will do what's necessary. Now there are a lot of manufacturers that this covers, a lot of models, and um, the, the cost of this is only as you use it. So when you receive this, you have to use it at least twice a month, and if you do at least twice a month, then the only charge is per job charge. So it's not like you're having to buy this. When this first came out, it was called the wrap. As time went on, as I said, they've added other applications, such as European applications. So they brought out what they call their Euro kit, and to accommodate the Euro kit, they had to change and update the basic wrap, which is now referred to as wrap two. The Euro kit will accommodate BMW and Mercedes, and what it does is contains another OBD2 cable that merely has to be exchanged for the existing OBD2 in the unit. And it also has an adapter to plug in and has to accommodate BMW. Mercedes many times takes so long uh, to program and you may have uh, problems doing wireless, so they provide a 100 foot long ethernet cable, so it's a hard wire uh, procedure. So you use this for Mercedes, uh, Chrysler also requires it, so it's a better way of programming so that you don't cause damage to the vehicle computer. So. Once you have this hooked up, the battery maintainer, the OBD2 uh, cables, and when Drew Tech calls back, they take over and they do the programming. It is a much better option than the others that I mentioned. Due to the extensive information that's needed, refer to the Transtar website for application cost uh, function, uh, transfer product bulletins, and so on. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.